Remote families, I'm Miss Allison and it's a beautiful day for some backyard yoga. Welcome to Ocean Moves with Moat. Today we're going to be learning about the lovable, huggable, roly-poly manatee. So yesterday at Moat, we celebrated Buffett's 33rd birthday. Happy birthday, Buffett! We've got our manatee with a party hat here, but today we're going to be learning what makes a manatee a manatee and how do we study them at Moat. So, like us, manatees are mammals. Do you remember what makes a mammal? Yes, that's right. So, mammals don't have babies and eggs. They don't hatch from eggs. They breathe air and they have hair. So even manatees have hair and we are lucky enough to have three different kinds of manatees living all over the world. And we're even luckier because the Florida manatee lives right here in Florida. So we're gonna go on a little journey to see if we can find some manatees. Are you ready? All right, let's go. So researchers at Moat, scientists at Moat, like to look for manatees in two different places. Now the first place they look is not even in the water. It's actually up in the sky. So let's go ahead and get into an airplane and see if we can spot any manatees from up above. We'll see if we can count them too. So let's get into our airplane pose. So arms straight out to the side. We're standing up nice and tall. Now let's bend over and our arms are the wings. See if you can balance on one foot. All right, and let's see if we can balance on the other foot. We're looking around, see if we can spot any manatees, but we're really high up in the sky. So we need some binoculars. What? I see now, a manatee. Oh, I see one too. It's wearing a party hat. <laughs> that manatee must be celebrating something special. So we're up in our plane, and also we have scientists down on the ground. Well, not really in the ground, they're in the water, right? So let's fly around a little bit first with our plane, okay? our boat down below that we've spotted a manatee. So let's get down onto our mat and go into boat pose. So we're going to sit and hug our knees to our chest. That's one way of doing it. You can also put your legs out, maybe like this, or you can hold your legs and see if you can roll back and forth a little bit. Yep, you can go all the way down if you want. It's very or you can just go kind of a little bit small little it's very Rockland. flashy in the sea today. All right, so we're on our boat, but it's still hard to see the manatee. So on our research boat, we actually have a tower we can climb. So let's stand up, and we're going to climb our tower. But when we see a manatee, we want to remember that manatee. So let's get our cameras out, and we are going to click. Click. Awesome. Well, I'm looking around and I see a seagrass bed because that's where manatees love to hang out. They like it where it's shallow and warm and where their favorite food is, which is seagrass. So let's get down into our seagrass pose on our backs first. <laughs> so delicious. And we're gonna put our legs up right into the air like this and we can sway them from side to side like they're moving in the current of the water. So no wonder those manatees were hanging out in the seagrass beds. They love to eat seagrass. And they kind of show us what it's like to have a very relaxed life because pretty much what they do is eat and rest. And they don't swim very fast. They just kind of hang out. But this manatee is eating seagrass. So let's go into our feeding position. So we can go onto our hands and knees 
and then we're gonna tuck our toes underneath and stretch out our legs and if you can you can go a little bit closer to the ground and munch on some seagrass <laughs> They eat a lot of seagrass every day and they use something really special on their face to help them do that. Their little whisker is kind of like a cat or a dog and they're called vibrissae and it helps them to feel all the little blades of seagrass. Now manatees are very, very round, aren't they? So let's try to make a round shape with our body. So bring your arms out in front of you and try to make a circle. Yeah, awesome. And manatees are also really, really long. They can be 10 feet long or even longer than that. So let's try to make our bodies as long as we can. So let's go ahead. On our knees, we're gonna put one leg up like this. And then we're gonna stretch out our back leg if you can lift it off the ground, even better. But if not, that's okay too. And then we're gonna take our arms and stretch them really far in front of us. Great, let's try it on the other side. You can put your other knee down, bring your other knee up. We're gonna try it again. I can do it this way again. So we're gonna stretch out our back leg. Okay, stretch out our back leg. And then we're gonna reach out our arms in front of us to make us really, really long. I am in it. Great job. So we are round manatees. We are long manatees. What else is really special about a manatee? Well, they have a very round paddle-shaped tail and that's how they swim around. So let's go down on our bellies and we'll pretend like we have a manatee tail. So you can bend your knees and bring your feet up and down and up and down and that's how manatees swim. Now they have a cousin that lives down under in the land of Australia and their tail is a little different, more like a whale. It's more a fluke shape. So let's separate our feet, keep our knees together and we can go up and down that way too. Just like this manatee here. Great. So, manatees actually have a relative, a distant cousin, that lives on land, too. And one of the things they have in common is they are constantly getting new teeth. Not like our baby teeth and our adult teeth, but they get new teeth in the back, and then they kind of push the old ones forward, and then they fall out. So this animal is really, really heavy, like a manatee, but it has a long trunk. What is it? An elephant. It's an elephant. So hands and knees, we're gonna use our arm as a trunk, make your best elephant noise. Awesome. <laughs> so we know about some of manatee's family now. What else can we think of that's really cool about manatees? Oh wait, I think I see a baby manatee too. Oh my goodness, how amazing. Calves or baby manatees hang out with their moms for a, a couple years actually. And just like other mammals, they drink milk. Milk, they drink milk. But where they have to drink that milk from is in the manatee's armpit. So the mama's armpit has the milk for the baby. So let's do a pose where we look at our armpits. So silly. <laughs> let's stand up, this is feet apart. Let's take our right hand and touch our left foot. And put our left arm up in the air and look at your armpit. This is funny. And then let's switch left hand over to our right foot. Right arm in the air, look at your armpit. <laughs> Perfect. So, let's have a seat again. Because I want to show you one more thing that manatees do that makes them kind of like us. Okay? So, manatees love to eat, right? We learn they eat seagrass. And then, sometimes they play around in the, in the water, kind of roly-poly-like. So, 
the last thing they do is they breathe air, just like us. So let's do a little sequence where we do those three things. Eat, roly poly, and take a big gulp of air, okay? So here's how we're gonna start. Hands and knees again. Do you remember our eating pose? Tuck your toes underneath and stretch out your legs. And then we're gonna go down onto our bellies, okay? And we're gonna roly poly. That just means roll from side to side. You can put your arms next to you. <laughs> and our manatees at Mo, Q and Buffett can be pretty playful. You'll see them roly polying all the time. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push up and we're gonna take a deep breath through our nose like manatees do. And then we're gonna go back into the water. Awesome. So manatees' noses have nostrils like us, two openings, but it's closer to the top of their head. So they don't have to look up when they take a breath. They can just come to the surface, breathe, close their nostrils, and then go back underwater. And they have to breathe pretty often. One more thing I want to tell you about is that when explorers came to Florida for the very first time, they thought they saw mermaids. It was actually just manatees, but let's end our session today with a mermaid pose. So you can sit with one leg bent in front of you, one leg bent to the, to the back, and sit up nice and tall and straight. And we're gonna stretch to one side, and we're gonna stretch to the other side. We've got our mermaid tail behind us. And then let's switch legs, okay? So whichever leg you had in front, put it to the back. Back leg, switch to the front. I'm not a mermaid. And we're gonna stretch to the side. And stretch to the other side. Fantastic. Well, today we learned a little bit about what makes a manatee a manatee. And I hope sometime you can come to our aquarium to meet Buffett and Hugh are resident manatees that are oh so playful, lovable, huggable, and roly poly. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this session of Ocean Moves with Moat, please let us know. We'd love to see pictures of you and your family doing our moves when you post using the hashtag OMM. Let us know if you have any ideas for future Ocean Moves with Moat, a favorite animal, or a story you'd like us to tell. But until then, be well and have a beautiful day.